Toast Master Aloysius Raj. Blunders are made in heaven. Blunders are made in heaven. Toast Master Aloysius Raj. A beautiful evening. Red tints of light fill the sky. The evening fog made it even mystic as any college festive activity will start. There were a group of girls ready with their invocation song. Their beautiful voices filled the entire arena. One voice stood out in particular. She was not singing. She was reading the verses completely out of sync with the entire choir. This voice is still reverberating in my head. And not only in my head, I could still hear this in every corner of my house. Yes, that's the voice of my wife. I still don't know why I fell in love with her, nor what I fell for. But after 13 years, I for sure know where I fell. I fell into a deep well where anything I say gets lost in translation. I shout, breakfast. She comes fast, breaks something for sure. Good morning, dear Toastmasters and guests. Many of us are misguided in life by the elders, the society, and our own cluster of communities, glorifying with these beautiful words. Marriages are made in heaven. I tell you this to all those single boys and girls here. This is the biggest trap laid in front of you. Don't fall for it. It's a one-way entry. Even if you try to exit, you cannot come out unscathed. Research suggests highly successful people in their fields are single. Kindly search in Google and you'll find many scientific, authorized and justified articles. I love the top three reasons they gave that inspired me a lot. Being, being single gives you the space to think. All you need is a room to sleep, the heavenly abode, my space, my bed, my bike, a self-sufficient life. Why do you bother thinking about buying a 2BHK in Chennai or a 3BHK buying in a house Chennai ke mega argamil in Kanchipuram or Chengalpattu? It is out of question. You are wealthier by a notch. The second reason, it's a serious reason, single people are healthier. There is evidence Married people get less time to get exercise. Psychologist Bella DePaulo says women have always, who are always been single are more healthy overall than currently married women. They also have fewer sick days and fewer doctor visits. You get more time for self-indulgence and shopping as well. The third reason Many of you might agree, you're better at keeping friends. All the married men and women here tell me with the hands on your heart, how many of you can meet a friend freely and spend time without informing your spouse. Every time you try to meet a friend, you, you are allowed to go, but with a catchphrase. When you come back, please buy all these things, a big shopping list. And hope you will come back before lunch. It is time bound as well. When you look at the shopping list, you wonder, am I going to really spend time with my friends or do the entire shopping the whole day? Lockdown has imposed even additional duties. If you try to go out of your home, the first question will be, if you go out, who will wash the vessels? This is a scenario in many homes. But at my home, if you go, who will make tea or cook? Being alone can be stressful. But don't succumb to the pressure by others. Get married. Your life is set. 
you'll end up managing multiple expectations. A simple example, I am from Dharmapuri. During functions, after biryani, people always have rasam and white rice. It's probably a cultural aspect. In Chennai, especially in my wife's side, it's just biryani and raita. Strangely, curd rice also. I arrange for a family function, invite both gangs. Yes, I said gangs. One gang member for my family started the gang war. Another, raso illia. And from my wife's side, another one said, you're worried about rasam, there's no curd rice, yeah? I was in the middle of this gang war holding Badusha because my wife liked Badusha and she ordered it. While these two gangs of Wasepur was fighting out on the food, my stress levels increased to the power of one, to the power of two, and now to the power of three. Is it really worth? I now have to say it is entirely worth like a luxury tour package you get complimentary offers. Your spouse can compliment you with what you don't have. If you are a silent person, definitely your spouse will be a violent person. If you are not a bargainer in shops, your spouse can bargain for an item that is 5 rupee and bring down it to 2 rupee. Or sometimes the shopkeeper will say, please take it free. You can take it. You get the lifetime opportunity of being the referee or umpire. Husbands usually have problems with the father-in-law. Wives will have lifelong synchronization with issues with mother-in-law. I'm sure many love playing the role of this moderator. Chinese say this as yin yang. Compliment yourself if you are the better half. I know both sides think they are the better half. Why do you want to live only half a life while you can enjoy life to full being single? I'm committed to equal half of being the Arisivam. Hence, reminding this to all those single souls. Marriages are made in heaven. Please remember these words. They are made in heaven and made only for heaven. If you do it here on earth, you are giving an open invitation to de-evil. Please concatenate. Before other unidentified flying objects come and land, on me, I'm saying this is the third time I'm reiterating you. Remember Bill Gates and Melinda, marriages are made in heaven, but you do that blunder here. Remember, permanent damages are done. Have fun.